The following is a Broncos Broadcast Network production. Good morning and welcome back to the Broncos Broadcast Network. I'm Victoria. And I'm Felicity. On today's broadcast, we have information on our yearbook class. BBA News begins now. Friday, September 6th. If today is your birthday, you were born on Ms. Hoffman's favorite holiday, National Read a Book Day. You share a birthday with Shay Rudolph, and on this day in history, back in 1995, Cal Ripkins Jr. broke Lou Gehrig's baseball record when he played his 2,131st consecutive game. Is today of your birthday? Happy birthday. Attention seniors, schedule your senior portraits today. Katie will be hosting three road shoots on campus. The first will take place on Monday. The only way for your photo to appear in the yearbook is to attend one of these road shoots or go visit at Katie Studio. Register today at katie.com book. The Key Club will have their next meeting on Tuesday from 2 until 3 p.m. in room 221. Please remember the club dues are due by September 20th. The next National Honor Society meeting will take place on Tuesday at 2 p.m. in the Broncateria. Please see Mr. Desheen with any questions. Attention seniors, there will be a college and career night on Tuesday, September 17th at 6 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. Please get information on the Bright Futures, the Command app, and more. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Brown. DHS debate team will meet on Wednesdays from 2 until 3 p.m. in Mr. Swanson's room, 313A. For more information, scan the QR code on your screen. There will be a Science National Honor Society meeting on Monday at 2.05 in room 326. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Noberto. Davenport High School will hold their annual Title I Spanish Night on October 1st, beginning at 5.30. Davenport FFA have named their 2024-2025 class officers. Congratulations to the students on the screen. There are many electives at Davenport High School, from fashion to band to culinary. Today, Musa introduces us to our yearbook class. Today, we'll be taking a look into the DHS yearbook class. I'm really excited for this year's yearbook because um, this is going to be the largest staff that we have had um, since the beginning of the Arulian that we started four years ago. Um, the type of student that we're really looking for and we want to be a part of yearbook are students that, um, one, are interested in thinking about themselves outside of the box. Um, I love yearbook because students come in and they, they, they think that they know themselves and then I watch them grow into somebody completely different. You are going to talk to lots of people. You are going to meet lots of people. You may get stories that you are being asked to care about. And so like your ability to like understand that person and, and, and really treat them like the human that they are is a really important quality in a yearbooker. Is the yearbook goes way beyond the classroom. You are going to be asked to go to events. You're going to be asked to go to uh, parties, you're going to be asked to understand these people in a way that brings us outside of the classroom. Your book is not about what happens on our day to day. Your book is about the entirety of your, the school experience. We're treating this year's yearbook like a time capsule. This is the very first graduating class um, that has started with us since the very beginning. So this graduating class is pure Bronco. The other graduating classes were awesome. We loved them. I loved them. But this is our very first class of pure Broncos that are graduating. So this year is going to epitomize that. We want that, we want that to be the field. We want to encapsulate what it means to be a Bronco. Uh, the 2023 yearbook was, uh, was ranked at the top 10% in the nation. And you get to that kind of a, a place by allowing the diversity and the, the different types of people to come in and let them have a voice within the book. And the ability for us to do that is what has made DHS one of the best yearbooks that I have ever taught. Let's hear from some of the returning yearbookers. I wanted to find something where I can show off my writing skills, and I feel like this is where, this is the spot that would be like most perfect to do that, so I like it. Well, last year we were really understaffed. I think maybe there was like eight to ten of us. This year we have more people, so I am really excited to see you know, how different personalities will fit into this book and, you know, the, just the final product. Uh, my goal is to being able to tell uh, whoever I interview, just like being able to tell their stories in a way that's comfortable and happy for them. 
The yearbook to me is a way of bringing all of our personalities and our stories so we can go back and look onto it later on and just keeping those memories together. This yearbook year is different because we got more, more people. Now there's two classes, not one. Last year was just one. And there was just like, what, like 12 people? Now we over got like over 30. So we're going to have more people, more personalities, more like more open minds into working into this book. I did love the first year. I love like how the class was. I love like how I was able to add into like the school memories. I hope to learn. I hope to learn more about like how to be more social. Signing off from BBN News, Musa Hayat. Today's ACT word of the day is desolate, meaning bare or empty. The moon is one giant desolate landscape. Attention French Club, your next meeting is on Thursday from 2 until 3 p.m. in room 221. Please remember, club dues are due by September 20th. Attention seniors, it is time to pay your senior dues. Your senior dues include a yearbook, class shirt, lawn sign, pennant, and access to class events throughout the year. If you pay your dues by September 19th, then you'll be able to paint your parking spot for free on September 20th. Your senior dues are $135, but the price goes up on September 30th. Get your senior dues in today. Do you have wealth of academic knowledge? Are you competitive and want a ch chance to win $500 scholarships? Then join the A-Team. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Tribble during lunches today or Ms. Rosario. The DHS Theater Department proudly presents Puffs on October 18th and 19th at 7 p.m. Get your tickets today by scanning the QR code on your screen. The Science Department at DHS is looking to you to join the Science Olympiad Club. If you have first meeting is on Thursday at 2.05 in room 326. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Noberto. On to Bronco Sports. The boys football team will travel to Claremont tonight to take on the East Ridge Knights. Kickoff is at 7.30. On Tuesday night, there's a girls volleyball team travels to Kissimmee and takes on the academic of Central Florida. The girls would end up falling in four sets. The volleyball team is back in action on Thursday when they host the Ridge Community Bolts. There will be a girls basketball interest meeting right after school on Tuesday in the Broncateria. See Coach Ray with any questions. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today for Broncos News. I'm Felicity. And I'm Victoria. Have a great day, Broncos.